picking things up. If Coach Peter will come after Shirley, we'll go ahead and take questions for both of us. Coach, uh, it's been an interesting year so far in this conference uh, for the team and for yourself as a coach. Well, it has been. You know, I, I've said this before, but I'm, I'm, I'm always willing to say it again because it's really what I feel. I, I, for the years that I've coached, uh, I really haven't had a group that's, that's given their all the way this group's given their all. We've been shorthanded. Uh, we've been injured. And, uh, you know, when we get in foul trouble, we're, we're thin as it is. But this group has never quit. They've never stopped playing. Uh, they compete at a very high level. And I'm real proud of what they, what they, uh, the way that our team has played. Uh, and I think tonight was another example of that. Uh, we got ourselves down early against, a, a, you know, the Houston team was playing very well at a high level first half. We clawed back, and I thought uh, we became more aggressive. Uh, we, we did some really good things tonight. And, uh, you know, when you have a senior like Tamir Jackson on your team, all things are possible. They, our team follows his lead. And uh, if anybody plays hard in Tamir, I'd like to know who he is. He plays awfully hard. He plays both ends. And, uh, battling every possession and uh, there's no quit and so that really has rubbed off on our team it's it's, a, it's kind of a legacy that he's going to leave behind and, you know he's led the uh, set up conference record conference usa record basically that he's played uh, four minutes than any player in the history of conference usa and he's played believe me when i tell you he's played through some injuries and uh, battled some things but he's he'll never tell you that he's just going to battle every possession as long as he can coach one of the things i saw this year in particular they are uh, Tamir's extension of being a leader was his uh, leader, his mentoring of uh, Max, and it, it, and ex extending him a hand and all, and allowing him to grow and the team to grow. Well, the good, the good point, uh, Jerry. Much like Max, uh, you know, when Tamir came here, he, he stepped in it, it right away as a freshman and didn't skip a beat. He almost forgot he was a freshman. I think he's he's kind of left that with Max and. Max has been able to step in and move Tamir to the off guard, and the rest is history. I think that's allowed Tamir to do some things, but it's it, it's really I think a lot of influence. Tamir's had some influence on Max on our team, uh, and I think it's important to, to give that recognition because it's it's accurate. And you know, uh, you know, Max is going to have a, a very very good career at Rice, but uh, I think the fact that he, he's he's played uh, with and under Tamir is going to be uh, you know it's going to be to his advantage as well. Then you guys get within nine, there was about five minutes left, still very much in it. Oh, we missed some shots. I mean, to be able to tell you, you know, a couple of those we thought were down. We ripped about three or four out. They were looked like they were down under, and we got some good looks. Just couldn't, you know, it was a little bit of a, uh, you know, lid on the basket uh, and some stretches. But uh, our guys kept fighting, you know, and I kept encouraging our guys, hey, that's a good shot. Hey, that's a, that's a good miss. You know, we had a, a, a drive and a kick out or a scramble, and, and, and we just didn't. They weren't able to complete some of those plays. And I thought we beat Houston a lot of loose balls tonight, but we didn't we come up with them. For some reason, we got our hands on them, and somehow we, we lost them. But we were scrapping, we were playing, and uh, if we were going to cut that thing uh, like we did the last time we played them, you know, I think, you know, you never know. But uh, give Houston credit. They did what they had to do. They went down low when they had to go down low, uh, forced some turnovers, and it seemed like every turnover we had led to a basket. I, I think it was Tom Henderson who told me, and he was right, if you're going to turn it over, throw it in the stands, or or hold on to the ball, just don't throw the pass, and now it's a violation. The uh, other team gets the bottom bounce, but it's not leading to a basket, and it's, that's a good point. And it seemed like every turn we made really led to a direct basket. They get for the game 23 points off turnovers, and they get uh, almost 20 second half chance points. So of their 46 points in the paint, that's where they got their points. They got their points off of turnovers and points off of second chance rebounds because of their size advantage. So, that's a tough way to go. We did a pretty good job on Thomas in the first half. We throughout most of the game, we gave him some pretty good double teams. We made it tougher on him, uh, but we had a tough time, uh, you know, containing off, off second chance points. It's very awful what Coop said. I mean, I know you for three. You, you've been a guy that, you know, if, if you need to score, you score. I mean, you, you scored 9 of 12 at the end of the game, and I, you kind of always try to take that role if you had to. I mean, has that just been counting tonight, those kind of games where this is a young team, it's a hurt team, you're just trying to do what you can as much as you can? You know, I just try to do whatever I can. Like, if I have to score, I have to score. If I have to get people open, I get people open. If I got to battle down with a big man and get rebounds, I'll do that. If I got to guard the best player, I, I guard the best player. I just want to, you know, I try to do anything in my power to help our team be successful. Going into your last home game, though, is it, is it, it 
it's been it's been a frustrating year in terms of you know just the record, but I mean you get something out of this year. I mean it's your last year. We you take anything away, even though the year hasn't gone the way you might have hoped, just to be able to play and contribute the way you did, and maybe get back from from maybe some of the, the time that you struggled last year to really kind of turn it around. Yeah, it's been tough, you know, record wise, but it's been a great season to, to play with these guys that I'm playing with. Um, you know, I've been excited all year. I know that these guys are going to fight with me. They're going to have my back. I'm going to have their back. So other than the record, it really doesn't matter. I just like the bond that we have as a group and the camaraderie that we have.